The gentleman yields back, Ms. Demings. Thank you so much, Mr. Chairman. And uh, first of all, as a member from Florida, uh, Ms. Finero, I want to thank you so much. First, welcome uh, to this hearing, but also I thank you so much for your uh, testimony uh, today. Uh, people may think they know your story, um, but today you've been able to tell it, and they may not care about your story, but I care. And I thank you for uh, being an advocate on behalf of women and girls around this nation. Um, I spent 27 years uh, in law enforcement, and I want to talk about constitutional rights. Um, but today, I not only speak as a member of Congress, I also want to speak as a police officer, as a police chief. As an enforcer of the law, I took an oath that I would protect and defend the Constitution of the United States. In my law enforcement career, you can imagine, I have seen and experienced much, the joys and pains of life. I have worked rallies and demonstrations by the Ku Klux Klan, the neo-Nazis, and other extremist groups. I have heard names and been called names, like Coon, Savage, and I've heard the N-word more times than I care to acknowledge. But as these extremists hurled their racial slurs and insults, as I worked the rally to provide security for them. As a law enforcement officer who remembered the oath that I took, I would have risked my life to stop anyone who tried to do them harm. Of course, I did not agree with what they were saying or why they were demonstrating but I took an oath to protect their right to say it and to demonstrate. The United States Constitution is a stubborn document. Rights are stubborn too. Even the rights of women. Roe versus Wade is clearly established and well-settled law, and its violation is blatantly unconstitutional. I've also, as I end my remarks, I don't have any questions today, but I've also worked and seen as a law enforcement officer the threats and harassment of women and teenage girls and providers. We've certainly had to work cases of providers who gave their lives as they were trying to provide uh, the service. So I, I don't know how much longer this debate is going to go on, but we live in the United States of America, the supreme law of the land is the U.S. Constitution. And as long as I am here, I will continue to protect and defend it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I yield back. 